What is the largest number you can think of? Oh, it'd be in the billions. Infinity. <laughs> uh, Ten billion, billion, trillion. Twenty. It may, however, be none of these if scientist Samuel Billiam is right. The largest number has always been sort of an enigma. Uh, most people, in fact, all of classical mathematics assumes that numbers are infinite, but I found that that simply isn't the case. And the path to finding the largest number wasn't an easy one. Samuel Billiam is a theoretical physicist at the University of Otago who deals heavily with mathematics. I've been studying numbers and their sizes for quite some time now, but I stumbled upon the equation for the largest number purely by accident. I was researching relativistic wave theory the other night while my wife was reciting Shakespeare. Uh, distracted, I inadvertently added the Hamlet to one of the equations, and it was this Hamlet operator that caused the equation to return the highest number. And the highest number is this. 794 quintillion, 843 quadrillion, 294 trillion, 78 billion, 147 million, 843,293.73 recurring, multiplied by e to the power of pi, to the power of e to the power of pi. One of the reasons that no one has discovered this number yet is because it is just so phenomenally big. The Microsoft calculator struggles to produce an output even when set to scientific mode. However, not everyone agrees with Billiam. This is so ridiculously wrong. It's ridiculous. Dr. Nildu Christabel Haverman, mathematician extraordinaire, says that numbers simply don't work like that. Numbers simply don't work like that. The number set is continuous, which means it goes to infinity. <clears throat> it doesn't stop. I mean, I could simply take his number and just by adding one, I've made a higher number. Well, Dr. Haverman doesn't know how the Hamlet operator works. It's all very well to write plus one after the number, but that doesn't actually make it any higher. But what does the man on the street think about this? Oh, um... He hasn't a clue. Bickering aside, it seems that whether or not the highest number really exists, it will have interesting ramifications for us all. Richard James Gervin, Esquire, Macat's Anonymous.